A work of art like my famous spice bread takes time, Cringer. I'd rather spend my time eating than cooking. Adam! Adam! Adam, what's wrong? Shh! The sorceress is speaking to me by telepathy. You must come to Castle Grayskull immediately. It's very important. I'll be there right away. Well, if it's a gate, where does it go to? That I cannot say. This door has never opened before. And you want me to pass through it and find someone in the world it leads to? I would go myself. But as you know, I have no power outside this castle. But you can't tell me who this person is, huh? Hold out your hand. This sword shall lead you to the one you seek. Why, except for this jewel, this sword looks exactly like mine. And like yours. It is meant for someone with a very special destiny. But how... Adam, please, ask no questions. Until you find this one, I can say nothing. The very fate of the universe may depend on your success. Well, ready for an adventure, Cringe? An adventure? I haven't even had lunch yet. Enter the gate now, Prince Adam. And good luck to you. Well, here we are, Cringe. Hey, nice place, huh? 
it, it'd be nicer if there was some food around. I'm starving. Hey, there's a village over there. Let's head for it. The Laughing Swan Inn. Yeah, sounds like a happy place. It smells like one, too. Mm -hmm. uh, hello? You think he's a spy for the Horde, Cole? <laughs> it seems quite unlikely, though. The only time a Hordesman ever smiles is when he's doing something awful for someone. <laughs> Welcome to the Laughing Swan, stranger. How may we serve you today? Uh, how about a little chow? Uh, your, uh, your animal, he, uh, he speaks. Well, doesn't everybody? Now, about that food. M -m Make mine fish, and plenty of it. Oh, fish, um, fish it is. Oh, boy, fish! Thank you. I think I'm gonna like it here, Adam. On the other hand, I wanna go home. I don't like the looks of those three. You do what I'm doing. Don't look, Hortsman. <laughs> now, Bo, <laughs> let's not be rash. We don't want any trouble. You, Bard, keep on playing and make it good. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, sir. You could try apologizing. Hmm, a man of courage. <laughs> Stupidity, you mean. You have a loose tongue, citizen, but you won't talk so loud or you're chained to the oar of a slave ship. <laughs> hey, good thing Tila taught me that move. You! You're under arrest. You're not making a slave out of anyone today, Hordesman. So, another troublemaker. Let's get them both. I knew this would happen. Ooh, Adam's in trouble again. Mind if I join you? <laughs> Surrender, citizen! <laughs> I'm not a citizen. I'm a rebel. Assess! Thanks. My pleasure. Now you're going to get it. I'd say it's time to, uh, pull the rug out from under them. One, two, three! <laughs> My name's Adam. Mine's Bo. Good to meet you, Adam. I don't mean to be an alarmist, Bell, but when the Horde finds out about this, oh, they're sure to send a force squad after us. Ugh. You're right. You better come with us, Adam. They'll be after you, too. Where are we going? Whispering Woods, of course. From now on, my friend, you are part of the Great Rebellion. I bring 
you bad news from the kingdom of Bright Moon. Speak! Three of our troopers were humiliated in the village of Thamor by two men who claimed to be rebels. <sighs> we have a more pressing concern, Kodak. What do you mean, Shadow Weaver? Well, my dark magics have told me that a stranger from another world has come to Etheria. And he brings with him the seed of great trouble for the Horde. Where is this stranger? He was in the kingdom of Bright Moon. But my spells can no longer find him. Bright Moon! Kordak, could he have been responsible for the defeat of our troopers? Hmm. You may be right, Katra. Send Force Captain Adora to me at once. I have a plan which will bring this stranger into the open. And then we will teach him it's not nice to cause trouble for the evil horde. <laughs> We should be there any minute. Oh, thank goodness! I'm pooped! Oh, in the name of the Great Rebellion! <coughs> Where'd you go? Sprag, you ninny! It's us! <laughs> uh, oh, Cowl! Sorry! I thought you might be horsemen! Who is that? That's Sprag. He's a twigget. They live in the Whispering Woods. Sprague, run ahead and tell Glimmer we're bringing in some new recruits. Yes, sir! <laughs> Sorry, I scared you, Pussycat. Pussycat? <laughs> this is it, Adam. The main camp of the Great Rebellion. Hmm. It doesn't look so great to me. <laughs> Most perceptive of you, friend Cringer. It is, in fact, a very small rebellion at present. Come on, Adam. I want you to meet our leader. Glimmer, I'm back. Bo, where have you been? I... Oh. Glimmer, this is Adam. Pleased to meet you. Adam helped me teach some horde troopers a lesson in Thamor. Madam's coming! Madam's coming! Madam, come on! Uh, uh, left room! No, no, right! One tree or two, Bo? Make it three. Uh, uh, over! No, no, under, under! No, around! Oh, boy! Very my. Oh, we must work on these landings. I agree. Madam Raz, are you all right? Oh, dearie my, yes. But there was something important I had to tell you. Now, what was that again? The village of Thamor, the Horde. <gasps> That's it. The Horde has placed the entire village of Thamor under arrest. But why? Three of their troopers were trounced by two men they claimed are rebels. Oops! Taught some horsemen a lesson, huh? See what you've done? The horde demands the culprits give themselves up. Otherwise, they'll send the whole village to the mines as slaves. They do it, too! Those fiends! Well, I can't ask you to sacrifice yourself, Adam. But maybe they'll be happy with just me. Well, hold on. There must be a way to save the village without giving in. Oh! The Horde has a force captain and four of their worst villains in the village. Oh, I'm afraid we're no match for them, no. I have a friend who might be of some help. Well, if we're really going to be the Great Rebellion, I guess we have to start somewhere. And we're with you, Glimmer. We're not afraid of the Horde. <laughs> Then, let's save Thamor! It's a Horde slave transport! And they're loading the villagers into it! Madame Raz will free them while the rest of us keep the Horde busy! Sounds good to me. 
What about that friend of yours, Adam? Oh, uh, he'll be ready when the time comes. Bo will get the signal to move. Now let's all get to our positions, and good luck! This is just a waste of time. Those rebels will never give themselves up. We should destroy the village. At least then we'd have some fun. She'd never let us do it. <laughs> Who cares about her? She shouldn't even be leading us. Why, if she wasn't for that favorite... What was that, Leech? Uh, nothing, Force Captain. <laughs> you four better be on your guard. These rebels seem bolder than most. Don't worry about us. Oh, we're ready for anything. <laughs> Everyone's ready, Bo. Time to give the signal. I hope the spell Madam put on this arrow works. Oh, what's that? I'm coming. Let her go, sucker face. Not until I drain enough energy. Don't make her helpless. You're finished now, rubble. By the power of Grey Skull. You haven't won yet. I suggest you let my friends go. Oh, who's that? Another rebel, no doubt. But my shuffle rifle will stop him. Catra! <laughs> <gasps> Scorpia! <laughs> Your muscle man. That's not very ladylike. <laughs> of course, you're not much of a lady anyway. Destroying my sense of balance, I can't stand. Ha! My balance distorter ray has fixed him. Take this, bug face. <laughs> <laughs> That's a deal. Stand where you are, Rebel. <gasps> no! Stay away from me. The fight 
is over, young lady. What? Why, you. You're the one I came to find. Is that so? <laughs> Stranger, you and this curious sword. Razzle dazzle, dizzle dazzle, mazzle fazzle, bizzle buzzle. I hope Adam Spell can find E Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope she remembers it right. It, it, it's very old magic. And Madam's a very old magician. <laughs> Wazzle, wazzle, whistle wee, show us where our friends will be. It's working! Oh, oh dearie boy! It's Beast Island. Beast Island? Why would the Horde take captives to that terrible place? I've heard rumors that they have a prison there. <sighs> if that's where He-Man is, let's go! Hold on, Battle Cat. Reaching Beast Island isn't all that easy. It's miles out to sea, and we don't have flyers like the Horde does. Hmm. I believe I can help with that. Measle muzzle, measle mip. Let us have a frying ship. Uh-oh. That doesn't look right to me. You said frying instead of flying. Oh, did I? Oh, dearie my. Oh, dearie my. I must concentrate more. Oh, at last. Well, there's our transportation. All aboard for Beast Island. Come on, Slowpoke. We've got a friend to rescue. Save your strength, stranger. That force field is programmed to resist even your power. I'm Adora, Force Captain Adora. And your name? My name is He-Man. This sword you carried intrigues me, He-Man. It feels as if it were made just for me. I thought it was. And now you don't. I was to give that sword to someone who served the forces of good. But you, you serve the forces of evil. Evil? You're the one who served evil, Rebel. I serve the rightful rulers of Etheria. That's not what the Aetherian people think. Oh, your rebel friends have lied to you, He-Man. Most of the people are good citizens loyal to the Horde. Only because they're afraid. And with good reason. Liar! The Horde are just rulers. Kind, generous, and caring. You can't believe that. Haven't you seen how the Horde treats people? Well, I've spent most of my life training in the Fright Zone. There's been little time to see the rest of Etheria. Then why don't you do it, now? Or are you afraid of learning the truth about the Horde? I'm afraid of nothing. Then you'll go? I'll think about it. There it is! Beast Island! I'll tell Madam to get set for a landing. Oh! A lovely way to travel! Don't you think, Brew? Uh, it beats flying here myself. Beast Island's just ahead. You'd better... Uh-oh, we've got trouble. Hmm. It seems as if someone else is heading for Beast Island. Oh, I can stop them with a spell. And spoil all my fun? I'll do the stopping! <laughs> going to crash. Somebody do something. <laughs> so much for them. 
Now for our mysterious stranger. Glimmer, are you all right? I've used too much power. Weak. We'll rest. Oh, I'm afraid we can't. The Horde might send men here. Better to leave this area immediately. <laughs> Put her on my back. I'll carry her. Oh, thank you, Battle Cat. Save your strength. We'll need it to rescue He-Man. <laughs> I'm proud of you, child. You have served the Horde well by capturing this stranger. He calls himself He-Man. I'm proud of you too, Adora. Thank you, Mighty One. May I return to the Fright Zone now? There's something I have to do. Of course. Go! I sense some disturbance in her. I think she should be watched. She is loyal. My training and your spells of control guarantee that. I wonder. Uh, keep your guard up, everyone. This isn't called be silent for nothing. <laughs> no, no need to panic, madam. So far, we haven't seen a single... What was that? Nothing, nothing I'd care to have tea with, I'm sure. Oh, dearie boy. That goes double for me. I agree, totally. <laughs> won't hold it long. We need one of your spells, madam. Uh, Razzle Dazzle, Doozle Drear, Horrid Vines, Disappear! Horrid Monster Disappear, not Horrid Vines! Oops! Uh, uh, might I suggest we'll, we'll run for our lives? <laughs> was too close. Thanks, Battle Cat. Oh, are you all right? Why, Cowl, I do believe you were worried about me. M me? Uh, worried? <laughs> Surely you just... <laughs> oh, state your business! Force Captain Adora on a secret mission for Hordak. Open the gate, Trooper. Well, Spirit, now we'll prove to ourselves that He-Man was lying, huh? Hello, boys. The light can't see. Have a nice nap, fellas. All clear. Let's go. <laughs> Slaves! On your feet, now! Uh, water. Uh, 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 water, please. I must have water. You want water, do you? All right. I'll give you water. Uh, 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 
Help! Help me! <coughs> Enjoy your water, old man! <laughs> Looks like there's only one way to go. Come on. <laughs> Let's see how those rebel fools handle this. Shot, though. But we're still trapped in here. Ah, let's go. No, no, no. Griswold a hordak. Griswold a hordak. No, please don't take him. Shut up, boy. Come on, you miserable nag. Father, do something! Don't let him take Whitey away! There's nothing we can do, son. Jason, come back, don't! Stop it! Stop it! That's my horse! Little fool! They've got us pinned down. Madam, can you help us with a spell? Oh, I've got just the right one. Uh, Razzle Dazzle, Grizzle Beep. Time for you to be a sheep. <gasps> oh, dearie my. I meant for them to fall asleep, not become sheep. I think it worked that fine. Let's get out of here before reinforcements arrive. <laughs> What's going on? Law said the Horde's taxes were too high, and the trooper overheard him. Now they're going to destroy his home. Not another door. I feel like we've opened every door in this whole place. Well, let's try one more. He-Man has to be here somewhere. paralyzed for a time. Better to ask what I will do to them if you do not tell me why you have come to Etheria. Shall I have the rebel dogs taken to a cell, mighty one? Yes, yeah. an uncomfortable one. As for you, He-Man, we will give you some time to consider what price your friends will pay for your silence. Come, Shadow Weaver. <laughs> oh, uh, my, my, <clears throat> might I be of some assistance? Can you get me loose? Uh, certainly, if you give me a moment. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, that will do, perhaps this. Oh, maybe that. Oh, no, I think. Oh, yes, this, this, this. You've done it. Now let's go find our friends. I've had enough of this place. Oh, I find it rather unpleasant myself. Some rescue. All we did was wind up captured ourselves. What? Time to go, folks. He-Man! The alarm, let's move! He-Man and the Rebels! They're free! What? Recapture them at once! 
All troopers to Corridor 9. Rebels escaping. Which way? We have to get to a flyer. It's our only way to get off the island. I believe the Horde's landing pad is to our right. Right it is. Uh-oh, company. There they are! Better clear the way. Let's go. You know, for the first time, I'm beginning to enjoy this. <laughs> this looks like it. He-Man, look! I don't... He-Man, come on! Take off and wait for me outside. I have one more little job to do. Don't be long. Grizzlaw has failed. Oh, this He-Man is too powerful. But my magic will deal with him. No, it's better that we return to the Fright Zone for now. We'll have another chance, I'm sure. As you wish. What's he trying to do? I think he's about to cost the Horde <laughs> one prison. <laughs> well, that's one prison the Horde will have to do without. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, you're incredible. All in a day's work. Now let's get back to Whispering Woods. There's a certain someone I have to find. Right. This He-Man is too dangerous to us. We must find out why he is here and how we can stop him. Perhaps. Adora, where have you been? I've been seeing for myself how we rule Etheria. What have you discovered? You lied to me, both of you. The Horde is evil, cruel, unjust. The people hate us, and with good cause. Somehow the spell on her has weakened, and I sense that it has something to do with that sword she holds. Then you must strengthen the spell. I don't know why I've never seen this before, but now that I have... <sighs> Let me help you, child. Stay away! Surely you would not harm me, Adora. Am I not like a mother to you? I... I... <sighs> You will see things clearer after some sleep. First this He-Man arrives, and now Adora turns against me. Well, remember who she really is? Yes, yes. But have no fear. When she awakes, she will be under my spell once more. Oh, and I will make sure she never breaks it again. As for this sword, I will soon discover its secrets. And those of He-Man as well. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? Ah, 
This imp is the most fearsome weapon in the Horde arsenal. <laughs> Behold, the Magna Beam Transporter. <laughs> what does it do? Watch. See that battle wagon? It was wrecked during the last battle with the Rebellion. It is of no use to me, so... Where did it go? Look on the view screen. You sent it to the Valley of the Lost. Oh, exactly! No one has ever returned from the Valley of the Lost. And with this Magna Beam, I shall at last rid myself of those pests who call themselves rebels. Till now, they have hidden from me in the Whispering Woods. But those woods shall protect them no longer. Once the Magna Beam is at full power, I will transport the entire Whispering Woods to the Valley of the Lost! And all the rebels with it! <laughs> oh, wonderful. Shall we do it now? Not yet. The ray must be at full charge, and that will take some time. Plunder Room is the energy source for the Magna Ray. The ray uses the energy of willpower. This rebel was caught trying to stop a horde trooper from arresting his brother. And I do it again, you evil tyrant. The people of Etheria will not bow to rule by force. Not now, not ever. As you can see, he has great strength of will. Foolishly misguided, he will do nicely. Beware, Hordak. One day we shall drive you and your criminal crew away from this planet, and Etheria will be free again. I feel so weak. What is happening to me? Ah! He had less power than I'd hoped. Charging the Magna Beam will take a long time with such weak material. We must capture more rebels! What happens to the prisoners afterward? They make excellent servants for Horde generals. Don't they, slave? Yes, master. Mission or no mission, it's foolish for you to go to the Fright Zone. Oh, you'll be captured. Stay with us. In the safety of Whispering Woods. Now even the Whispering Woods are not safe from the Horde. I have to get going. Cringer, you stay here. You're too noticeable. Sorry. Oh, that's okay, Adam. You shall not go alone. We stand together in this Rebel Brotherhood, and... Easy, Bo. I appreciate your offer, but you're needed here. Besides, one man is less noticeable than two. So I go alone. You are a brave man, Adam. I salute you. Good fortune speed you on your mission. Yeah, uh, well, thanks. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. an easy place to sneak into. I don't look much like a member of the Horde. But maybe I can change that. By the power of Grayskull! I have to 
catch up with your friends before they get inside the fight zone. Blast! That was the last prisoner in the dungeons. We need more power! Gods, take him away and find me another rebel. I must have more prisoners! The patrol should be returning any moment, Tordak. Perhaps they have captured more rebels for you. Perhaps. Are they in sight yet? Oh, let me check. Yes! Here they come now. But I see no prisoners. The incompetent fools! They failed to capture more rebels, and now they have lost one of their own men! No. Here he comes now. He must have been straggling. Wait! That man is no trooper. It's that rebel warrior again. Well, he shall not escape this time. I'll have him stopped once and for all. Wait. Let us not be so hasty. This warrior is a source of great power. If we capture him, he will supply the Magna Beam with all the energy it needs. And with the Magna Beam charged. <laughs> I'll send the rebels to a place where they'll never bother me again! <laughs> the rebel is inside the Fright Zone now, Hordak. Well, I've made it into Doom Tower. So far, so good. But finding Force Captain Adora in a place this size is not going to be easy. Wait a minute. There she is. Alert my personal guard. I will capture him myself. He will not escape me this time. Hello, Adora. How did you get in here? You don't need that. Please, just listen to me for a moment. What do you want? Adora, do you remember the last time we talked? Yes. I asked you to go to the villages and see for yourself what the Horde is really like. Yes, I remember. Did you do it? Did you go out and learn for yourself that the Horde is evil? Yes. So, now you know, right? Yes, I know. I know that you are a lying rebel spy, and that you are under arrest! Good work, Force Captain. This particular rebel has a habit of causing trouble for me. That's one habit I mean to keep, Hordak. I don't think so, rebel. Guards! Boss Captain Adora, stop the rebel. Excellent, Force Captain. Guards, take this rebel to the plunder room and put him in the Magna Beam charger. His energy should be all I need to charge the Magna Beam to full capacity. <laughs> the, the charger? No, please, you, you can't. Do you have an objection, Force Captain? No objections, my liege. To the plunder room with the rebel! Amazing! His power is incredible! I must be careful not to drain his energy too fast, or the machine will overload. This could take all night. Uh, Problems, Weaver? There is something strange about these swords. They are not of this world. Oh, they have a strange power that I cannot control. I will have to consult my books. There is no hurry. By morning, I will have completely drained the Rebel's energy for my Magna Beam Transporter. <laughs> Let us go now, Weaver. 
Tomorrow, the dawning of the new day shall herald the final end of the rebellion. <laughs> Strange is happening. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to find out. Well, everything seems to be in order here. The strong rebel grows weaker. Soon he will be just another slave. But it is for the good of the Horde. It must be done. Yet, why do I feel so unsure? I don't know why I came down here anyway. I must have been dreaming. There's nothing here for... Adora, Adora, the time has come for you to seek your destiny. You must throw off the enchantments that have made you a slave to the Horde's will. Let your heart guide you toward the path that you know to be right. And let this sword give you the strength to follow that path. Use that strength to protect the weak and to help right the wrongs committed by the Horde. And let your first duty be to this man about to be enslaved by the Horde. A rebel warrior? He is no ordinary rebel, Adora. He is He-Man, hero and champion on the side of goodness. But to you, Adora, he is also something more. Adora, the Horde stole you from your parents when you were a tiny baby. So you never knew your mother, and you never knew your father. But you also had a twin brother. <gasps> this man is your brother, Adora. And Adora, he needs your help. For the honor of Greyskull, Adora. For the honor of Greyskull? For the honor of Greyskull. Guards will be here any second. Who are you? A friend who wants to help you. The sword of power. My sword. Of course, the sword of power. What is going on here? He Man, catch! By the power. Hurry, He-Man. This door won't last much longer. Oh, Grey Skull. Stand away from that door, men. It's Hordak. All right, stand back now. Aha! Fight. Let's just get out of here. Wait, there's something you don't know. Ah, the Magna Beam! It is fully charged! I don't know who you are, but your rescue is too late. Guards! Take these rebels at your leisure. 
I shall go upstairs to activate the Magna Beam. Magna Beam? What's a Magna Beam? Don't ask. We have to stop him. I'll take care of that. You go warn the Rebellion. Right. Good luck. Go, Spirit. I am Swift Wind now, dear friend. You guys are going to have to do better than that. So am I. This is taking too long. Hordak said he was going upstairs. Maybe I can take a shortcut. Pretty good, Rebel. But not good enough. I'm activating the Magna Beam. This will take care of Whispering Woods. <laughs> oh, no. Hordak has turned on the Magna Beam. I've got to do something. Wait. That big rock just might do it. Down! Now! <sighs> no! My Magna Beam wasted on a rock! Well, I still have enough power for a second shot. Sorry. What happened? Where are we? Huh? I don't know what happened, but my energy is returning, and I know exactly where we're going. Back to the rebellion, men. <laughs> well, Rebel, you smashed my magna beam and saved your worthless friends. So I did. Pretty good, huh? Not good enough. Rebel, I still have you. I'm going to freeze you solid with freeze rays and drop you into the valley of the lost myself. Scott! Whoa! Oh, oh, he's getting away! Poor Hordak. <laughs> he's had a pretty frustrating day. Thanks for the rescue. By the way, you were just in time. Well, what are sisters for, anyway? Sister? What do you mean? He-Man, I think we have a lot to talk about. I don't understand this. You say you're my sister, but I never had a sister. I know how you feel. I never dreamed I had a brother. But when the woman in the sword told me so, I just knew it was true. Woman in the sword? That must have been the sorceress. Let me have your sword. Sorceress, can you hear me? Greetings, He-Man. And to you too, She-Ra. I see you have completed your task, He-Man. Yes, but there's still so much we don't know. Then listen, and I shall tell you all. Many years ago, twins were born to Randor, King of Eternia, and his queen, Marlena. Those babies were you, Adam, and Adora. My parents. My real parents. To have two such fine children brought great joy to the king and queen. But that joy was soon to turn to sorrow. And the cause of that sorrow was a force from another dimension. A force known as the Horde. The Horde? On Eternia? Led by a vicious tyrant called Hordak, the Horde attempted to conquer Eternia. But they were no match for your father's brave soldiers and the magic of Castle Grayskull. So Hordak hatched a vile plot. He knew you were both destined for something special, though he did not know exactly what. So he crept into the palace, determined to steal you both away. With him went his favorite pupil, Skeletor. So Skeletor was originally a member of the Horde. Hordak had just lifted Adora from a cradle and was about to take Adam too when Madden Arms entered the nursery. <laughs> But 
Kodak escaped with Adora. To save himself, Skeletor betrayed his teacher and told us the way to the Horde's secret base. Man-at-Arms and I went there, hoping to rescue Adora, but we were too late. You may have defeated us, but you'll never see this child again! <laughs> for you for many years, Adora. But we could not find the dimension to which Hordak had escaped. To spare Adam the pain of your loss, I cast a spell that wiped all memory of you and the Horde from the people. Only the King and Queen, Man-at-Arms and I, knew the secret. And now? Now you have gained the Sword of Protection and become She-Ra, as you were always meant to do. The rest is up to you. You do want to see our mother and father, don't you? More than anything. But I can't just leave Etheria. The Rebellion needs me. You need not decide right now. When you wish to return, simply contact me again through the sword. Farewell, dear child of Eternia. My whole life has changed because of this sword. I know. And you should give yourself some time to think things over. But there is something you can do right now. What's that? Give your brother a big hug. Don't be a fool, Glimmer. You're the fool if you think you can stop me, Bo. Hey, what's going on here? Adam, you're back. And he's captured Force Captain Adora. Good work, Adam. With her in our hands, we can make a deal with Hordak. Sorry to disappoint you, but, uh... Adam! Cut it out, Cringer. I take it this is a friend of yours, brother. B br brother Brother? That's right. Adora's my sister. She was only serving the Horde because of one of Shadow Weaver's evil spells. But I've broken it. And from now on, I'm with the Rebellion. Oh, welcome to the right side, dearie. You can be a big help to us. I'll do anything I can. <laughs> Perhaps you can start by convincing Glimmer how foolish it would be to try and rescue Queen Angela from Talon Mountain. Who's Queen Angela? Glimmer's mother. She was the ruler of Bright Moon, the last kingdom to fall to the Horde. She disappeared during the battle. <laughs> but one of our spies just learned that she's a slave to Hunger, the leader of the Harpies of Talon Mountain. <laughs> Even if we could get to Talon Mountain, we couldn't take on the Harpies. They're too powerful. But we have to try. She's my mother. I can't let her remain a slave of that monster Hunger. Of course you can't. And we will rescue her. Huh? <laughs> but I think you should let Adam and me handle it. Right, brother? Right. Oh, thank you. Thank you both. Zero! Hired Swift Wind? Not at all. I love flying. Me too. Look, there it is. Talon Mountain. Seems deserted. Let's take a closer look. Down swift wind. Get ready! I don't like this, brother. I agree. Get them in the name of Thunder! Now that's the welcome I expected. Hurry, swift wind. You're approaching fast. And there's more up ahead. Swift winds. This calls for some fancy flying. 
Head for that tower on the left. I'm on my way. They're still following. And unless I miss my guess, the ones in front of us should turn that corner just about now. Which means we go up, swift wind. I'd say that was a crashing success. Oh, but the winners, third green. Your vile minions have met their match, Hoppy. Smile while you can, Angela. They might have foiled my weak sisters, but they must still deal with me. Hunger's throne room should be right behind these doors. And let's go and say hello. Look, that must be Queen Angela. Come on. Queen Angela, we are here to free you. How nice of you! Her magic packs quite a punch. Well, let's show her our kind of punch, sis. Shall we wipe that smile off her face? Sounds like fun to me. A beautiful sight. Quick, let's cross swords. All right, Harpy. Where's the real Angela? Behind the throne! Hold on, Your Majesty. I'll have you free in a minute. Thank you, mighty warrior. The name's He-Man. Can you remove this collar from my neck, He-Man? That shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> there. It was that collar which prevented me from using my magic. But now that it is gone... She's magnificent. And now I think we should go. There's a certain young woman named Glimmer who's very anxious to see you. Glimmer! My daughter! Just follow us. Mother and daughter together. Now, what's on your mind, sis? I was thinking. With Queen Angela back, the Rebellion will have a much better chance against the Horde. And it might be all right for you to take a little trip back to Eternia with me. Mm. When would you like to leave? Would immediately be too soon. No, and you mustn't tell them you're She-Ra, either. Okay, Adam, if you say so. When do we reach the gate? Just over that rise. That's where we'll contact the sorceress and make our way home. She-Ra! So, Adora rides with the rebels now, does she? So much for your great spells. Oh, it was that cursed sword He-Man gave her. Oh, if only I could have learned its secret before that warrior woman showed up and stole it. I'll get her, too. But right now, it's Adora I want.
Ready? Adam, do you think Mother and Father will like me? What, Dora? They'll love you. Now, let's go. Oh, wait for me, Adam! There she is. But what's she doing? It's a dimensional gate. She's leaving this world. No, no! I, I won't let her escape me. Take the controls. Eternia, Princess. Princess? Sure. You're the daughter of a king and queen, remember? Well, it's gonna take me a while to get used to that. Adam, I've told your father and mother that you were on a mission for me, and will be returning with a surprise. Oh, I hope it's a pleasant one. Have no fear, dear. They will be as pleased to see you as I am. More so, in fact. <laughs> learn to control my rocket form better. Oh, where could I be? Castle Grayskull. By Horde World. I'm back on Eternia. Well, Adam, we've done as you asked. Now, where is this surprise of yours? Must we wait all day? All right, you can open your eyes now. Who's that? By the ancients. It's about to... Adora! Mother! Father! My daughter! Oh, my dear, sweet daughter! Daughter? Uh, I don't understand. Well, she's Adora, Adam's twin sister, and she's back after all this time. Look at you. How lovely you are. Oh, Mother, I'm so glad Adam brought me here. Son, I want you to know that today, You've made me the happiest man on all Eternia. The royal family of Eternia is whole once more. And by the ancients, I swear that nothing shall ever separate us again. Hmm. It's changed since the last I was here. Could it be that my old pupil is still here? Ah, my old throne room. My throne room now, old friend. Skeletor, how good to see you again. What brings you to Eternia after all this time? I came after a traitor to the Horde, and it looks like I found one. You've improved since last we saw each other, my pupil. More than enough to deal with you, my old teacher. <laughs> I've done it! I've sent him back to his dimension! I've done... Did you think to defeat your old mentor so easily, Skeletor? We're not through yet. Wait. It's stupid for us to fight like this. You left me alone in the hands of our enemies. And you betrayed me to those same enemies. I'd say we're even. Hmm, perhaps you're right. But Eternia is mine to conquer now. I won't let the Horde have it. The Horde has no interest in this world anymore. I'm only here to capture the traitor I told you about. This traitor? Who is he? It isn't a he. It's a she. It is the baby I took from Randor. Princess Adora. What? Enough! 
Now, for the last time, help me capture Adora and return to the world I came from, and I'll leave you in peace. Otherwise... Ah, your threats don't scare me. But I'll help you, if only to be rid of you. I thought you'd see it my way. You know, Skeletor, your evil is almost a match for my own. Together we'll make life miserable for those Eternian fools. Why, it'll be just like the old days. <laughs> yes, yes, just like the old days. <laughs> <laughs> instead of fire and turn the whole camp into a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> this Madame Raz sounds a lot like our Orko. Who's Orko? A little friend of ours from a dimension called Trala. He's there now visiting his uncle, but he's due back soon. You'll like him, sis. I can't wait to meet him. Just be careful if he offers to do a trick for you. <laughs> Very careful. <laughs> Hello, suckers! Nice work, Cobra. My sleep gas will keep them unconscious for hours. Move aside, you clot! Now for a little magic! <laughs> Excellent! Our little trap is set. Let's spring it on them. And then Duncan and I lifted your mother out of her ship. Enter. Uh, forgive me, Your Majesty, but I thought you might like a special dessert for this special occasion. Why, it's magnificent, Chef Allen. But don't you think it's a bit much for four people? I, I think it's just right. Mm. Oh, but this is a very special type of cake, Your Majesty, as you're about to see. <laughs> Greetings, Princess. <gasps> Hordak! Skeletor! Last <laughs> that cat will raise the entire palace guard. I've got what I came for. Let's get out of here. Triclops, we're ready to go. Be right there, Skeletor. Quickly, everyone aboard. Stop. Too late, man at arms. But you can tell the king he'll be hearing from me soon. <laughs> We'll never catch him now. <laughs> Assemble my soldiers. We'll level Snake Mountain if need be. Sire, I know how you feel, but a small group has a better chance of getting Adora back than a whole army. My father's right, Your Majesty. Who knows what Skeletor will do to Adora if he sees all your soldiers coming? Listen to them, King Randor. He-Man! I had a funny feeling he might show up. Oh, He-Man, they've taken my little girl from me again. Please get her back. I will, Queen Marlena. That I promise you. There's a Wind Raider fueled and ready to go. Then let's move. It's ready, Hordak. You're sure this will send me back to Etheria? I'm certain of it. Of course, if you'd rather remain here... Never. I hate this place. You two, bring the girl here. No! No! Well, what are you waiting for? I'm afraid the plan has been changed, old friend. <laughs> I have better use for the Princess of Eternia than you. What? Now, get him! No! 
Skeletor! You traitor! <laughs> that takes care of him. And now, Princess, I must decide what to do with you. <gasps> she's... she's fated? <laughs> Just like a woman. Take her to the dungeons, Furface. I'll contact Randor and tell him my demands. <laughs> You're sure a pretty princess. <laughs> it's too bad we have to lock you up in the dungeon. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment, Fangs. Huh? You can't do this to me. Funny, I thought I just did it. Bye now. Where are we going? To the lab. Skeletor wants us to run some tests on this sword the princess was carrying. What for? Hordak seems to think there was something special about it. That was lucky. Now to even the odds a little bit. For the honor of Grayskull! Skeletor to King Randor! Skeletor to King Randor! Come in, you royal boob! It's not nice to call people names. Who are you, woman? The name's she -Ra. And you can stop trying to call the king. I've freed the princess. What? Get her! My, you boys are forward. Oh, all right. One dance, and that's it. <laughs> fellows are using your heads. You nincompoops! Be brains! I'll take care of her myself! <laughs> ha! Missed! Wait for it, bone brain! <laughs> That's definitely an improvement to your looks. Look! She's the one who stole the sword! I'll stop her! All right, that's it. No one around here knows how to treat a lady. The throne room is just ahead of us. Let's be careful. Hey, man, look out! What happened to them? I've got a pretty good idea. Hello, He Man. Sorry you missed all the fun. Who in the world is that? T Love, man at arms. This is my friend, Shira. Nice to meet you. Where's Princess Adora? Um, she's, uh... Oh, she's safe. Right, right, safe. Well, then what are we doing here? Nothing much. So what say we all leave? Fine with me. Hm. I don't believe this. Neither do I. A female he-man. Oh, oh, this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to Etheria? You can't be serious, Adora. Please try to understand. I love you all, but Etheria is my world. I can't just leave it in the hands of the Horde. Hordak is responsible for this, isn't he? In a way, yes. I realized when he came after me that he'd never let me live in peace. And next time, he might harm one of you. I couldn't bear that. We're not afraid of the Horde. And we'll protect you. Oh, Mother. I know how hard this is for you and Father. But now that I know of you, I can come back when my world is free. And how long will that take? How many more years will we be without our daughter? I don't know, Father. But if it was Eternia under the boot of the Horde, could you leave the fight before it was over? I wish you could stay. But I understand. And I'm very... Very proud of you. Oh, Father. I'm gonna miss you, Adam. Oh, and I'm gonna miss you. A lot. 
Is anybody going to miss me? Remember, Adora, whenever you wish to return, just hold up the sword and call my name. I'll remember. And thank you, sorceress. You've given me the happiest moments I've ever had in my life and a destiny worth fulfilling. I'll always be grateful for that. Just come back to us. I will. Come on, spirit. Well, goodbye. <laughs> I guess we better head for Whispering Woods, Spirit. Can uh, anyone give a prince a lift? Adam! How? What? Well, I thought I might give you a hand in getting the rebellion off to a big start. Yeah, I hope you don't mind. Mind? I... What is it, Spirit? Oh! I've never seen so many flyers. Something must be happening, something big. We better get to Whispering Woods fast. I get you. By the power of Grayskull. For the honor of Grayskull. And what about us? Hey, then, Shira! Oh, thank goodness you're here! We're going to attack Castle Bright Moon and drive out the Horde! Sounds good. Now we're really ready for the Horde! <laughs> Stand fast! If this is a Horde trick... No, wait! What is it? Shira, be careful! Easy, big fella. It's all right. They don't want to harm us. They want to help in the battle against the Horde. I guess we can use all the help we can get. But how did you know that? I'm not sure. It's as if I could feel what they felt. Hmm. I wish we'd ask the sorceress a little more about your powers. <laughs> Might I suggest we start our march on Castle Bright Moon before anything else happens? <laughs> Good thinking, Cal. Rebels, are you ready to drive the horde out of Bright Moon? Yes! Then yeah. let's go! Today we win back our world! Yeah. Hordesmen, hear me! As queen of this kingdom, I demand you surrender Castle Brightmoon to me. You always were a fool, Angela. Launch that mix. What are they? Batmechs, robot planes. They have no pilots. Up, swift wind. Destructo tanks, forward! Here's something for us to play with, Cat. Steady, Swifty. Steady. Destroyed. Rebels 
test. Activate stunners. Oh, dearie my. Those stun cannons are knocking our people unconscious. We must stop them. Leave it to us, madam. Come on, boys. We've got to help. Down, swift wind. I've got that flying horsey in my sights. Now to bring it down. Look out! <laughs> swift wind. Shira. Are you all right? Yes, but swift wind. Shira, I hurt. Oh, swift wind's dying. I can feel the pain. If only there was something I could do. Shira, your hands. Look, they're glowing. Can it be? For the honor of Grayskull, let your wounds be healed. Thank you, my friend. The pleasure's all mine. Well, here's another bunch that are ready for some sleep. What? Uh, my power's gone. Ruin my stunner, will you? Hey, speedy boats, away! <laughs> Got him good. No! It's not true! The Horde cannot be beaten like this! That's where you're mistaken, Jarhead. You! It's all over, Hordak. Bright Moon is free. And soon we'll free the other kingdoms as well. One battle does not win a war, Shira. Wait for me. <sighs> They'll be back, and I'll be waiting. It is a great day for Etheria, my daughter. And we owe it all to Shira and He Man. Without them, all this would have never happened. But where are they? They should be here. Listen to them cheer. It's good to hear them so happy. How about you? Aren't you happy? Yes. And no. You are not returning to Eternia with me, are you? I can't. Hordak was right. One battle doesn't win a war. And it's a war Etheria's fighting. I'm needed here, He-Man. At least for now. I understand. And in a way, I feel maybe things were meant to happen like this. Me becoming He-Man to protect Eternia. You becoming She-Ra to do the same on Etheria. Yes, I feel that too. I only wish it made things easier. Tell mother and father I love them. I will. Ready to go home, Battle Cat? <sighs> sure, He-Man. Say goodbye to all my friends here, will you? And if you should ever need my help... I'll call. And if you ever... I'll know just who to ask for. Up, swift wind! <laughs> Farewell, She-Ra! Princess of power! Farewell, He-Man! Dear brother! Where but believe me, I'll walk the universe to find her. For better or for worse, beside her. For the honor of love, by the power above, I have the power. I have the power. A stranger walked into my world.